Hello, I'm Princess Sally Acorn. We're now ready for the next part. Another form called sociological form of political science. Authoritarianism, monarchy, and democracy. The first one called authoritarianism. Authoritarianism is a form of government characterized by strong central power and limited political freedoms. Political scientists have created many topologies describing variations of authoritarian forms of government. In an influential 1964 work, the political scientist Juan Linz defined authoritarianism as possessing four qualities. The first quality is limited political pluralism, realized with constraints on the legislature, political parties, and interest groups. Second quality, political legitimacy based upon appeals to emotion, and identification of the regime. Third quality, minimal political mobilization and suppression of anti-regime activities. And fourth quality, ill-defined executive powers, often vague and shifting, which extends the power of the executive. Next, we'll talk about monarchy. A monarchy is a form of government in which a person, the monarch, is head of state for life or until abdication. The legitimation and governing power of the monarch may vary from purely symbolic, to restricted, to fully autocratic, combining executive, legislative and judicial power. A monarchy can be a polity through unity, personal union, vassalage, or federation. Monarchs can carry titles such as king, queen, emperor, khan, caliph, czar, sultan, and peoples. And finally, we'll talk about democracy, is a form of government in which the people exercise the authority of government. Some cornerstones of these issues are freedom of assembly and speech, inclusiveness and equality, membership, consent, voting, right to life and minority rights. So this topic called political systems that we've learned. Like, comment, and subscribe now.